Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about cloth diapering. So my tripod broke literally, I don't even know when it broke. I, I used it last time and put it away and now it is just like flopping, it, I can't use it. So I have the camera like stacked up on boxes on top of my bed and it's hilarious. I normally don't film in here so it looks a little different. Um, and if the camera just goes flying down, that's exactly why. So on Instagram a couple weeks ago, I put a poll out there or like one of those little question boxes and just asked everyone who follows me on Instagram if they had any questions about cloth diapering and what their impression of cloth diapering was. I just wanted to know what people thought of it. Just kind of unbiased. What do you think of cloth diapering? I got some really good feedback. So I definitely want to talk about what people want to know about cloth diapering in this video. Answer some of your questions. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, my name is the same as it is here on YouTube. It's Belle and Cotton. Make sure you give me a follow there. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I do DIY home videos. I'm a new mom. My son is now seven weeks old. If you're interested in any of that, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're on for notifications and what else? That's it. That's it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk about the types of cloth diapers that I've been using, what I like about them, how I'm using them, and then I want to go through my routine of how I'm washing them, and then I want to answer your questions that you have about cloth diapering. So I've been cloth diapering for a little while now, and it was a little intimidating at first. It was definitely something that I knew that I wanted to do even before I got pregnant. It was always something I wanted to do. I just think that using disposable diapers is a huge waste of money. It's bad on the environment. Um, short term, disposable diapers are going to be a little harsh on your baby's skin. We use them for, I think the first two weeks after my son got home from the hospital because his umbilical cord was still healing. I tried to use cloth diapers and I even had some that folded down and it just was irritating the umbilical cord area and it was still bleeding. So with the disposables, I was able to really get a nice tight fold and avoid that area until it healed. So we didn't actually start using cloth diapers until after his uh, belly button area healed. But I noticed in that short amount of time that he was starting to get a diaper rash already. So I was already putting diaper rash cream on his butt. I didn't want to do that to him when he was so young. And the diaper rash cream that I use is good, but I just didn't want to be putting chemicals on him. So I'm really relieved to be using the cloth diapers. I haven't had any issues since I stopped using disposables. So short term, definitely going to be some skin irritation. Um, maybe some babies don't have it, but diaper rash is a very common concern and very common issue and I can say that I'm sure it's directly related to disposable diapers. Long-term issues with using disposable diapers are that the chemicals in the diapers can cause hormone issues. That's scary. I don't even want to deal with that. Not to mention it is so much cheaper to cloth diaper. Those couple weeks that I was using disposables, we were spending $15 every time we bought a box or a pack of diapers. I don't know. What is that? I'm not even doing the math. Anyway, I spent way less than that on my cloth diapers and I get to reuse them, which is better for the environment, better for my pocketbook, better for my son's skin. All in all, I think it's a good deal. So here in my house right now, I have five different brands of cloth diapers. I don't think that one is like the end all be all cloth diaper way better than the others. There's only one that I absolutely don't like using and I'll tell you why. And I will link everything that I talk about in this video in the description box below so you can find all of that information there. So my favorite is the Alva Baby. There's Alva Baby here on the side. The reason I like this cloth diaper is because it seems to be the less bulky. It just, the material lays a little flatter than the rest of the ones that I have. I haven't had any issues with leaking. I haven't had any issues with staining. It's a great diaper brand. I really like Alba Baby. This is a pocket diaper. I prefer pocket diapers. As you can, you will see in my video, I mostly use pocket diapers. That's what I like to use. I like the pocket diapers because the inside has like a moisture wicking material and I feel like 
when it's just a wet diaper, it doesn't feel on his skin like a wet diaper does. Drawback of a cloth diaper versus a disposable diaper would be that when you have a poopy diaper with a disposable diaper, you can kind of like wipe your baby's butt a little bit with the disposable diaper and kind of remove a lot of the, of the poop. Um, you can't really do that with a cloth diaper for some reason. It just doesn't like grab it. So you have a little bit more of a mess which I think is fine if you're using cloth wipes, and I'll explain that later too. Okay, second brand, Nora's Nursery. They have um, a lot of gender neutral diapers, which is why I bought these, they were on Amazon. Very similar to the Alba Baby as far as material. I don't love these because the buttons are just like really hard to like get in compared to, it's stupid why, I mean, these are fine. It's just in the middle of the night when I'm like half asleep and I'm like trying to get this button in, it's kind of annoying. Same material on the inside as the Alva Baby. Not sure what the price difference is on Amazon, but this is a great diaper. And then Mama Koala. The pros with these are the prints. The prints are so cute. They're on Amazon. They come out with new prints all the time. I love them. The drawback is that it's a little bulky. That's the only drawback. The, it, they're just bulkier than the rest of the ones that I have. Um, and I find that the bigger Miles gets, the less bulky that the diapers are on him. Like when he was first born and I put a cloth diaper on him, I was like, oh, oh I don't know about this. It was just so big. It was just, it looked silly. And then over like pants, it just makes his butt look huge. Um, but every week and every, you know, as we cloth diaper, I've noticed that it's less and less noticeable underneath his clothes. He's kind of growing into them now that he's getting bigger. So what I love about Mama Koalas too is um, I love the buttons. They're kind of hard to come off, but they're super easy. Well, as I'm saying that, it's not. They're super easy to snap in. I just think they're easy. I don't know. I like them. And so another brand that I haven't had the pleasure of using yet i just got this in the mail the other day it's little helper lil l-i-l uh they're a canadian diaper brand and a friend of mine told me about them thanks riley these are an all-in-one so as you can see when you open it up they're charcoal uh inserts but they attach so this is what you call an all-in-one diaper i think i'm gonna really like this it's nice and wide here I don't see any reason why I don't I won't like it. I just haven't used it yet. But I'll tell you what I do love about this company. Um, even though I haven't used their diaper, what makes me already want to order them? On top of sending me a, a diaper, so they sent me a diaper for ten dollars. It was like this little special bundle they have, and so I got the diaper, which was great. It came with the two inserts. It came with a cloth wipe, which was awesome. I didn't expect that. But what I really didn't expect was, besides the treats, they gave me, they gave me a candy and then two packets of tea, which is adorable, I love that. Just makes you feel good. The best part is that they literally wrote me in a card, a handwritten letter, thank you for giving them a shot, asking for a review. It's just, this is a really good business tactic and it's just kind, it makes you feel like you're making connection with someone instead of just making a purchase. Everything I buy on Amazon just comes like in a box. It's just in there. There's nothing, I, I don't know, just that's like what our world has become now. So when you receive something that's personalized and sent to you and there was time put into creating it, it just makes you feel really good. My name, thank you, Megan, like written on there. It's just amazing. And the... <laughs> The cherry on the cake or whatever the saying is, icing on the cake, is that the person who is in charge of this company or created this company, Muhammad, leaves his cell phone number. He, this letter he sends you about information about the brand and what you've received. And then at the bottom it says, if, if there's anything that you would like to get off your chest about little helper products, call me on my cell phone. And then there's cell phone number. <laughs> It's amazing. Okay, moving on. This is a diaper that I don't like. It's the only one that I just don't, I do not reach for. I kind of like have tried it. I keep going back to it, but I, I hate it. It's a Grovia, and this is on the back of this diaper. It says Grovia there. 
First of all, the buttons are backwards, so that's not true. The buttons are not backwards. I don't know why I said that. It feels like they're backwards. They like go, it goes on differently. I don't know. It's an all-in-one. The, the pros about it is that it's like really stretchy, so you can get a really nice snug fit without feeling like you're cutting off your baby's circulation. Um, and you can see it has the inserts in here, but look how skinny they are. They're just, it's a skinny, a skinny, skinny fit. And Miles had like a blowout the other day and it actually wasn't even that much more than, it felt like a blowout because of this diaper because it really wasn't much more than what he normally go, um, has, but it just filled and it was like coming out of the sides and it got all over his pants. I was not happy about that. So great for like a pee pee diaper, but you don't know if your kid is gonna go number one or go number two or when, so just not, not my favorite. So as far as the inserts go, um, I have bamboo, Mama Koala comes with bamboo, Alva Baby came with some microfiber. Um, I don't see a difference in absorbency when it comes to the bamboo and the microfiber. I did do all of the washing that I was supposed to, to do before I used them and they've worked out great. The Mama Koala I like because it's an insert for a pocket but it has buttons so you can make it different sizes to fit inside whatever size diaper you're currently using. And then this is a bamboo insert. It looks huge, but it fits in all of my pocket diapers. And it's really great for overnight because it's really, really absorbent. And sometimes he sleeps, thankfully, like six or seven hours. So I don't have to worry about waking him up and finding him like just soaked because of this. But it's, it is thicker and I don't tend to use it as much during the day because I'm changing his diaper more often during the day. I just use the bamboo or microfiber inserts. Okay, I have a baby who is insisting on being held right now. So if you're wondering, this is the Solly Baby Wrap. I love it. Or it takes like um, at least like five or six times of putting it on to get used to putting it on. But once you do, it's like such a breeze. I do it in the parking lot, like when we're getting ready to go somewhere. like grocery store I need a cart and he's too small to like sit in the cart and I don't want to like push the stroller. I need the wrap and he's super happy to be in it. He's against me and he falls asleep typically pretty fast. We're in the middle of like a leap right now or whatever so he's just been fussy. It's definitely accurate. I use this app called the Wonder Weeks app and it is spot on. Like he'll start acting really fussy and I'll open the app and it's exactly why he's acting fussy is on there, like it'll explain it. So as far as wipes go, I do use the water wipes and I also use cloth wipes. It just depends on what room I'm in. So if I'm in the nursery, I use the cloth wipes. I ordered these on Amazon, they're awesome. The thing I love about them is that when I washed them in the washing machine for the first time and dried them, they came out exactly like they came in the package. I feel like everything I buy, once I wash it, it changes. Not everything, but I was really impressed that these didn't. A lot of my burp cloths did, and I think that's why I was upset. So glass bottle that I got off of Amazon as well, and then it's just one tab that you put in here. It's like a little cube. I'll link that below. It's these little tea tree um, tabs for, for cloth wipes. I can't talk today. And you put one cup of water in it, and this will probably last like... I don't know, forever. There's a ton of cubes that come in the package. And then I just throw these in with the diapers. It just goes right in with the rest of my cloth diapers and washes with them. The thing I like about the cloth diapers versus using a wipe is that these get all of the poop off like in one full swoop. And with wipes, I feel like I tend to like smear it everywhere. It gets all over my hands. I don't know, this is just like efficient, very efficient. I only use one ever and I just spray what I do is I just spray the crap out of one of these and then get it nice and saturated and I just use it like you would a regular wipe they're awesome okay so someone said how do you get all of the poop out surely not in your washer um, yeah poop goes in my washer and I wash all of the cloth diapers with this amazing laundry detergent which I'll also link below I think it's called rock and green and I do one small little scoop of that, warm water, cold rinse, and I do an extra rinse. So most of it comes off during that first rinse and then the rest of it comes off in that second rinse. And 
baby poop, like when you're breastfeeding is not like poop poop, okay? So it's totally different, it's not as gross. And once he starts eating solid foods, then it, I'll be rinsing his diapers down the toilet, not down the toilet, but into the toilet before I wash them so that all of that is not going into the washer and causing issues with my washer or just, that's a little much. I will also link the sprayer that I got below for my toilet because it is freaking awesome. I love it. It has some kick to it, like it is high powered and I know that I'm not going to have any issue getting anything off of these diapers with that. Somebody else said, does it mess up your washer or dryer? I think if you have your baby on solids and you're not rinsing the poop off of your diapers before you're putting it in your washer and dryer that it could clog your filter. So that's something that you're going to want to do. Plus you don't want to be putting all of that poop in there. When they're not eating solids, it's not a lot. It's just, and it's liquidy. It's not, it's not solid. Someone else said, how do I stop them from leaking through? Um, if you're having troubles with leakage, I think it's probably the way you're fastening it. Like if you're having it come up, up through the top and the back, the back of them, you want to make sure that your pocket is not sticking out of your diaper because it will leak that's what absorbs all of the, all of the pee so if your if your insert is not all the way into your pocket it will leak out and then the other reason would be if it's not tight enough around their waist and then the other reason if it's leaking out from their legs you want to make sure it's tight enough around their legs so that's probably why it's leaking i personally do not have any issues with leaking sometimes i get a random leak but it's probably just being tired and not putting it on perfectly when i could but when i really take my time to make sure it's on i never get a leak so someone else said what's the longevity of a cloth diaper i think you can have them for years they definitely fit toddlers um i've seen some used ones like on facebook marketplace where people are selling them you want to make sure that if you're buying them used that you are getting a diaper that still has really good elastic here if it's really nice and flat there then it's probably a little worn out and you're going to be dealing with leaks but i would say they last for years i, I have no experience with the longevity of them but from what i've seen and what from what i hear they last a very long time is there a company that will pick up your diapers and clean them for you i think there used to be a cloth diapering service here in hampton roads where we live i haven't done any research to know if there's any currently here um, i know that in larger cities they do have diapering services personally for me it's not something I'm interested in because I'm a stay-at-home mom and because one of the reasons I wanted to do cloth diapering was to save money. So that kind of counteracts, you know, would be spending money to get them cleaned where I would be saving it to be using cloth diapers. I could just be using disposables at that point. But I guess if you, ha actually that's not true. If you have the money and you want to do it for the environment, then that makes sense that you would use a diaper service because you'd be doing a service for your child and for the environment but it would cost you extra money. So maybe if you were somebody who was working full time and you wanted a cloth diaper, that would be a thing. Another issue with cloth diapering that people have mentioned is using cloth diapers in a daycare facility. I don't take my son to daycare, so I don't know about that, but I think that's something that you could probably reach out to the daycare facility and ask if they would be willing to support you in your cloth diapering. As long as you packed enough cloth diapers, I would think that they would be able to do that for you. It might not be in their policy. Maybe they have their own diapering system that they do, but I think it's definitely worth a shot if you're somebody who cloth diapers and you're using a daycare facility to see if they would help support you in that. So anyway, cloth diapering has really been working out for me. I was so worried that I would have been investing in this process and then failing at it, but I'm really happy with it. I definitely love it, love it, love it, love it way more than using disposables. I feel good about it. I feel like my son's skin has been awesome. I haven't had to do deal with any diaper rashes or any irritation at all since I started using cloth diapers. It's part of my laundry sort of routine at this point. I'm doing so much laundry because he spits up a lot. I'm doing my own laundry, his laundry. It's not a big deal to throw in an extra load, especially with the diaper um, container that I have. It's not a diaper genie, it's the brand is Decor. And that came with an extra bag, so I just pull the bag out when it's full, throw it in the washer, put a new bag in. It's such a good system. I'm doing 
I am washing diapers probably every other day. I have exactly 24 diapers and I could maybe use like 10 more just in case because every other day I'm getting down to like one or two and if I want, if something happens and I need to go an extra day, I kind of need like maybe like 10 more just to get me through an extra day. But I have gone two days without washing them. I haven't noticed a difference with staining. I don't soak them. I just throw them in, warm water, detergent, cold water rinse and I do an extra rinse and then I dry them on low. Any stains that you have, you can actually sun bleach them out. I did this yesterday for the first time and it was amazing. Make sure that your diapers are fresh out of the washer so they're still wet. Put them in the hot sun. It literally like takes the stains out in minutes. It's so fast, so, so fast. Actually, the only drawback of these um, inserts being like that wicking material is that they dried faster than the stain could come out so I had to kind of re-wet the inserts that had stains on them or the uh, shells that had stains on them I mean it's amazing it is amazing how fast it takes the stains out so for me I don't see myself soaking them very often maybe if they get a little smelly I I would maybe soak them but I haven't had any issues with that yet so if you have any extra, more questions about cloth diapering or any advice for me about cloth diapering, please make sure you leave it in the comment box below and I will see you guys next time.